How's it going everybody? Jesse Patella here with Redefine FX and just about an hour ago Typhlo has been updated with over 20 new terrain generation operators. What you're watching here is the video released by Tyson, the creator of Typhlo, showcasing some of the main features. Apparently Tyson has spent over six months developing these over 20 new operators and in his own words it's comparable in functionality and power to any terrain generation software available on the market today. So an absolutely huge update, once again raising the bar for what we can create with Typhlo and in 3ds Max. There's also this shallow water simulation, so we have sort of like a melting snow and ripples going on. There's so much here in this update, definitely gonna do lots of tutorials diving deep into all of this. I just installed the update and I'm sort of looking through all of these operators so you're gonna find them at the end of your operator list it's all of these brown ones for the terrain I've loaded up the canyon preset so getting some really beautiful detail in the geometry I'm gonna delete it and just show you that if you right click go to preset flows we have a new category here called simple terrain flows and there are currently nine presets here that you can look through. So the first one is the Canyon. And so a lot of these operators are CUDA accelerated. So if you are on Typhlo Pro, you have CUDA acceleration. So it will be faster for you. It's something you can enable or disable here. So this is the Canyon preset. This is the Cliff preset. Next, there's this super cool Crater. All of these seem to be super detailed, even when you zoom in. Next one is this George. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but this is more like a river valley. Next one is this Mesa. So this looks kind of like Arizona rocks. Now I want you to notice how quickly it loads. So if I do simple terrain flow and I'm gonna select mountain, watch how quickly it's loading up and it's doing its CUDA thing. So this is just like a basic mountain preset. Next one is this one called Peak. Then there's this preset called Pit. And if you actually scrub through the timeline, it seems to have that shallow water simulation going on. So this is extremely cool. I'm just scrubbing through the timeline here and it's updating in real time. It's super fast. It's basically a real time simulation. It's how fast it is. Let me extend my timeline here to 300 frames. So this seems to be an amazing way to get something like melting snow, but also a very believable water simulation without having to actually simulate a huge large scale water sim. So this is going to be super useful. And it just settles into the crater and creates this lake with believable ripples and everything. So I'm super impressed. I'm seeing this for the very first time, just like you guys are. And the final preset is this valley one. So the workflow is going to be that you need to do a birth terrain first. Then you can add a terrain slope and you can control basically the, the mountain or, you know, what's happening with the curve. So you can maybe make a point up here and you can make another one up here. And that's how you can control what kind of a sort of mountain you're going to get. So it's set to radial. You can set it to linear and then sort of create this like a valley and then you can add maybe terrain erosion on top to start getting some nice detail into it maybe add terrain effects and I'm gonna play with the slope of my little sort of like a waterfall thing here so then you can add maybe terrain snow on top and you can control the amount Right, so maybe I'll just do 0 0.01 and get just a little bit of snow or I can do 0.5 and completely cover it. So I have to say overall impressions, my mind is blown. Would expect no less from Tyson. Um, amazing update. Incredible, very intuitive operators. Very easy to use, just like all of the other operators in Typhlo. The workflow seems to be the same as everything else in Typhlo. So you're always going to start with birth terrain or object to terrain and then you're adding additional operators on top to mold the terrain to your liking. I am definitely most impressed right now with this liquid solver that's just insanely cool. 
also the terrain snow so well and it's so fast right so i just updated it in about 10 seconds and i have snow covered mountains with liquid going off of them so i'm gonna keep playing with this and start making a bunch of tutorials for you guys just first impressions here so definitely subscribe to the channel to not miss out on the following videos and i'll see you in a bit